Hey YouTube, it is Miss Technical, and if you or your employees have been receiving some emails coming from a domain that's your company, but it's not your company sending them, and you're like, how exactly do I stop these emails? I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video, and if you're not tech savvy, that is completely fine. That is why I am here to walk you step by step through the process so you can stop these crazy emails. Let's get into it. So phishing emails are a huge issue, but it's even harder to catch them when they look like they're coming from inside your own company. Attackers can make the email look legit by using your company's domain, making it easy for employees to accidentally fall for it. So today I'm gonna show you how to stop these emails and protect your team. Before we dive into the setup, let's quickly break down these terms. These are the terms that we're gonna be diving into. And so before we dive into them and set them up, I want to make sure that you know exactly what they are. So you have SPF, DKIM, and DMARC, also known as DMARC. These are security protocols that verify if emails coming from your domain are legit, which is super, super important. So this is what they mean. SPF means Sender Policy Framework. This protocol specifies which servers can send emails from your domain. And it helps block unauthorized servers from sending fake emails pretending to be from your company. You also have DKIM, Domain Key Identified Mail. So DKIM adds a unique digital signature to each email to verify if it's really coming from your domain. And lastly, we have DMARC, Domain-Based Message Authentication Reporting and Conformance. This brings SPF and DKIM together and allows you to set up a policy on how to handle emails that fail these checks. So first up, we have SPF. This allows you to specify which email servers are allowed to send emails from your domain, helping again to prevent spoofing emails from getting through. To set up a SPF, start by logging into your domain provider. You may have Namecheap, other domain providers, but for this example, I'm gonna use GoDaddy. On GoDaddy, you're gonna to go to My Products, find your domains, and click DNX next to it. Now that you're in the DNS settings, let's add a new TXT record. Click Add Record, and then choose TXT as the record type. On the name field, we're gonna use the at sign or leave it blank. This tells Google and to apply for the value SPF rule into to the entire exact domain SPF value that you see here. This value tells Google and other email providers that only Google servers are allowed to send emails on the behalf of your domain. Once you fill this out, hit save. And that's it for SPF. This set will help block emails that aren't from approved servers, which is key to stopping phishing emails. Now here's a frequently asked question is, if I use MailChimp or Flowdesk, am I still able to send out newsletters once I set up this SPF? And the answer is yes, but you are gonna have to take additional steps in order to do this. So in order to send out newsletters, depending on who you're using, so for this example, we're going to use Flowdesk and MailChimp. So to add a SPF, log into your domain provider, GoDaddy um, or Google, in the example that I'm using here, you're going to add another TXT record and for the value, you're gonna put this down here. So this includes MailChimp, which is this right here, and it also includes Flowdesk right here. And on the documentation below on this video, I will list all the providers that I know right now for this example, just MailChimp and Flowdesk, so that you're able to see what exactly you're sh you should be adding to your TXT record for this. All right, so let's talk about DKIM, Domain Keys Identified Mail. So a DKIM, it adds a digital signature to each email. Now this isn't your signature that you have on your email that we all have on our business email. This is something completely different. So what it does, it verifies that it's truly sent from your domain. So let's go ahead and set this up and we're gonna start off by going to Google Workspace and the Admin Console. So on Google Workspace, you're gonna click on Apps. Then from apps, you're going to go to Google Workspace and select Gmail. And in the Gmail settings, look for Authenticate Email and click on it. Now you should see an option to generate a new record. When you click on this, Google will create a unique DKIM key for your domain. 
Next, we're going to head on over to, well, for me, GoDaddy. And we're going to go to Manage DNS, just like we did with the SPK. And so for the name or the host field, we are going to type in Google dot underscore domain key. This name tells email providers that the record is for Google DKIM signature. And the type is going to be TXT. And for the value, paste the DKIM key you copy from Google Workspace here. Make sure it's exactly how it was generated with no extra spaces. This DKIM TXT record is what lets other email providers verify the emails from your domain are legitimate. So without it, your DKIM signature will not work. So make sure that you're saving this. And that is it for DKIM. So next we are getting into DMARC, also known as DMARC. So for DMARC, this record will control how email providers handle emails that fail SPF or DKIM checks. Just like before, let's go into DNS settings to create a DMARC record. In GoDaddy, click add and select TXT. The name and the host field will be type underscore DMARC. This tells email providers that this is a DMARC record. Now for the type, choose TXT. And for the value, paste this exact code. So what exactly does this code mean? V equals D mark one. This identifies it as a D mark record. P equals none. This is your policy. None means that you're only monitoring it for now. Later, you can change this to quarantine to send failing emails to spam or reject to block them completely. RUA equals mail to at example.com. This is where your D mark records will go to. So replace your dash email at example.com with your email. Ref, RUF equals mail to at example.com. This is where your forensic records will be sent. And for PCT equals 100, this is set to check 100% of your emails. To help with this, I'll be adding a white label training video that you can share directly with your team. So check out the description for that link. And I'll also include a step-by-step -step document to walk your employees through spotting suspicious emails or if you want personalized help, you can always reach out to me and schedule a consultation. So Google Workspace has an alert system, an alert center that gives you real time notifications for any suspicious activities such as phishing attempts or unusual logins. So here's how to find it. Log into your admin console on Google Workspace and go to security and select alert center. In the alert center, you'll see alerts for activities that Google identifies as suspicious. For each alert, you'll get more details and can decide to review them or take action immediately. Make it a habit to check this regularly to stay on top of any potential risk. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope the instructions were easy enough for you. And if you need my help, just schedule a consult with me. And also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like. Leave me a residue of your energy by just clicking that like button. Also comment and subscribe. That's how you keep my channel growing. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you.